controversial subjects with the facts can be tense. But we are a sub science here to make things make sense. So, 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 we're chatting about tweet, tweet, not Twitter. Ugh, I don't want to hear any more about that because <laughs> although it's in the news, um, but we're talking about birds and like, I. What? Do you not know what's in the news? No, I do. And I don't want to talk no, about no, it. No, I don't want to talk about it either. Well, uh, we have an Elon Musk episode no, where stop you it. defended him. So go back <laughs> and listen to that if you want to hear some interesting. So embarrassing. And you know what? You know what that shows? Gross. <laughs> yeah, that's okay? true. That's what that's true. is actually beautiful about People still that, talk about the, our Elon Musk episode, though. I still mean? get messages about, from people, like whenever people make fun of Elon Musk online, and they're just like, this reminds me of that podcast episode. <laughs> so like, I think we like were very heated. I think it's like Ugh. one people remember and they know that I hate him. And I, I can't. Do. Okay. We're going to. Anyway, we're not, wait. No, we're, we're not, not going to talk about the this. The opposite <laughs> of the stress and anxiety of okay. Twitter and Elon Musk is bird watching Let's people. Bring it down Let me tell birds. you, it is the best <laughs> form of meditation for people who don't know how to meditate because it forces you to be meditative. It forces you to forest bathe, which scientifically is very great to help any sort of cure like depression or anxiety. <laughs> okay. But it's like you're doing this thing like for people like me who need to be doing things all the time. Right. It like it's like it's crazy how it like it's active does yet the, meditative. It does the things that like meditation and like being in nature and all these things all those all that shit you're told to do but you're like well, what how? How are you excited to just go meditate in the park like how? Yeah. For people like me it's like and maybe people can relate to this. Oh, you grab, we'll get to it. You don't need binoculars, but they'll come in later on in the episode as a really fun thing. Okay. You just take yourself to the park and you look for birds and you will feel amazing. I was just going to say a couple <laughs> things. One, obviously Greg's leading this pod because I'm not a birder. Not, you not are. Against it. No, I'm a birder by proxy now. Like yeah. I only have learned it through you. I don't do it on my own, but to start off, I'm curious, and I hope this doesn't come off the wrong way. Like, uh, what the <laughs> why fuck are, are you, you doing? So weird. <laughs> no, my honest question is, why birds oh. and not oh. any other type of animal? Oh my god! Okay, I have I you know an answer. To start, and I, I think okay. I might know why, but I'm curious it's, for you. It's purely geographic location. I mm. live in the city of Toronto. Okay. So I think this is a bird watching episode catered to people who live in the greater Toronto area or Southern Ontario, but based but birding in general, still don't scare away the rest no, of the sorry, audience. I'm Greg. Come we, back. Come back. <laughs> no, when we start to talk about like the birds that you'll see and like what you can do to see them and stuff like that, I'm going to be focusing on where I've learned the most about how to do it, which is in Southwestern Toronto. Ontario. And, but my point is that according to like migration patterns and science, cause it's like so large people in New York could also like, under like in Michigan, like we'll all have the same like relationship similar, to the birds yeah. that are living around us. So I am obsessed with whales. I don't have access to going to see whales. Mm -hmm. I don't live near an ocean. And there are actually such a vast, like insane things happening in the skies above you yeah. of birds completely different. All of the animals because they are literal dinosaurs who have been here longer than we have as mammals. <laughs> they are the most, they're, they're a specific creature that is around the world so everyone can bird watch but not everyone right. can go to a savannah and see a goddamn lion because sadly there's like 48 left or okay whatever. so then my question about that is because i do think you're totally right and there are so many it was like such a diverse array of species and it changes through the year which is really nice to see if you live where we live yeah yeah because we live in like a seasonal which is so fun, fun place but you know, not to like to my own horn, but sometimes I <laughs> go to High Park and I do meditate and I yeah, look that's at, true. at the squirrels and I was like, why not like some other kind of man? Like, why aren't there's creatures? not a, there, like because it's like there's black squirrels, there's brown squirrels, there's red squirrels. So done. is part of your bird watching that you see lots of birds? Yeah, you see lots of or them. Is that what you're wanting to get out of it? Or would you be no, okay it's with like, just seeing like one little cute bird? No, you can be OK with seeing one little cute bird, but it, it's so much more like dynamic and interesting because of the fact that there's so many different species you can see hmm. like there's only like when you look at a squirrel like in high park for example you're going to see the same type of right. species of squirrel over and over and over right. but at that same moment in high park i mean i went on ebird the other day and someone had seen 42 different species oh! of birds in the park Okay. So anyway, that's and they're it's like, accessible. It's a, it's, and it's like, because and I, they're flying. Last summer, but I think I started too late, like at, in the fall more, I started taking a class like on insects and I was like, why not 
that because obviously there's so many different oh i mean there's insects, pro- but it's I, much less it's probably a lot harder to just like oh yeah start digging stuff up and look at things and i was looking for a hobby in the pandemic and i was like going crazy and sad <laughs> and i was like what can i do and i was like i could start looking at birds because mm-hmm. all i'm being told to do is go on hikes and yeah, be outside because yeah. you can't it's be like inside or else you're gonna kill your grandma uh, so uh, i was like yeah okay and also <laughs> i'm scared because i feel like every time i hang out with my family i'm gonna kill them it was like oh march God, or like right. april and it was so it's like insects maybe just weren't as obvious to me for some reason even though that you're right they're outside under like a rock which is well, where i was maybe that's the expansion of birding is into yeah. like how, what are other once you've like not that you're True. gonna master birding because i'm sure you always will be fine but you're right things, then that's when you start looking at the trees around yeah, the birds or that's the something that insects. we i think it was maybe not last summer but the summer before we went to a cottage and they had like a handbook on books and we started trying to handbook like, on books. Yeah. Wasn't it like a book that you would open and it would show you like, this is a cedar tree and here's how oh, you, you said a handbook on books meant on trees. A handbook oh, on whoops. trees. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm whoops. like a book on books. I was like, yeah, duh. You know, <laughs> no, I was like, I was like, you were like, yeah, stupid? the book where I open up and it would show you these different books and the types of books. Well, you like know hard what? Hardcover, softcover cover. what's book. a tree made out of? I mean, what's a book made out of? <laughs> Tree, Tree, carbon, air. Trees are books, okay? And they're actually the books of life because they tell us about history. Yeah. They tell us about the climate, modern day as well. They host families of trees and squirrels. Okay, trees, why not trees? Yeah, no, okay, you're so right. anyway, no, but I'm It was saying, a book on trees. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really fun yeah, to be like, I've true. never really, I obviously love being around trees, but I don't know much about them. So it was fun to be like, oh my gosh, like this kind of pine has three needles sticking out. And I never yeah. realized, oh, some of them have six. Like You're right. Like, why, like okay, so that is an option. You don't, you could do a, get a similar sort of like forest bathing, mental health, like, proven through a lot of psychology studies kick out of the same thing if you were tree actively like, kind of finding being like a naturalist who was like oh i'm gonna look at the different you're right species of trees species of like weeds and shrubs in high park there's so many that's so cool and you could do we it with insects yeah. but i think that my Birds. point is literally i arbitrarily chose one and then right. i just haven't looked back and it's been so fulfilling that it's like Okay, you're right. Those are also probably your other great options I just didn't think of. No, I think, I, and I, that's why I was like, I don't want to come out the wrong way because I do think bird watching is so cool. And I was thinking like, it's seemingly the most popular of those. Like I don't really hear. See, that's what's interesting. Like maybe you're right. Because like I did go on like a hike with a naturalist in Toronto and was so fun. It was like me and my like, birding finale. We were like, oh, it was so fun. So he knew everything about the birds, but he was knew everything about the like wildlife plants. in general like and i actually think he knew more about the plants so maybe sometimes mm-hmm. when you're seeing you start to connect a birder well, you, you might learn a lot with birds too to be like that what kind of tree does that bird usually yeah. go on oh and i'm gonna learn about that tree my point is there are probably actually people who go to high park and they know a bit about birds but they know a lot more about the plants uh, you know what that's true that what a beautiful job to just be like somebody who works in nature and gets to share. Yeah. Are you nature. kidding? That's what me and Ali say. We're like, we want to be park we rangers that? so bad. Why don't we just do I'm that a, now? Would we be so it's, much happier? Uh, it's also apparently really hard to get a job as a park ranger at High Park. Like, Regardless think about of the demand. Hard. No, you're oh. right. I, I just mean like, but when, why aren't we trying to do that? Because there's not that many jobs. But, but are you choosing things based on like just the, I'm just saying like generally, if you want something, go get it, girl. Okay, okay, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, if I want to be a park ranger, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, no. I literally, me and Allie are like, we want to be park rangers. And we looked it up and it's actually really hard. So what? Lots of things are hard. It's hard to be a YouTuber. Okay, I'm just saying that's not why I'm dropping everything to be a park ranger. Because it's like, I would drop everything and they'd be like, okay, cool. You have to go back to school. And they're like, you want one in High Park? No, honey, you're going to North Bay. So what? That's beautiful. No, that's where you'd be like, no, it's hard to live in North Bay for 365 days of the year. Not Don't... if you love nature. Okay, Midge, you're going on as not. My po- I'm trying to get people to bird not be like i'm gonna commit to live in north bay if i like nature (laughs) i want this to be accessible (laughs) okay 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 here's another question for you this will be more normal what like what (laughs) speak more about like what it is about birding okay so just like captures your imagination or just makes you happy or like what because obviously lots of people start hobbies and then those hobbies minimize right you get excited and then it goes away but i feel like you've 
you got into it and you've done you're right. it right it's addictive and i yeah you're so right like i'm definitely one of those annoying people in my life who starts a hobby and, and like well maybe like a month in be like oh i'm a potter like i make pottery now and then no, never you're not like okay that. maybe i'm not but i'm saying that that's a common thing that can happen and it's happened in my life and yeah. you're right it didn't for this mm-hmm. that's true like there is okay so now what, and now that the, not that the pandemic's over but obviously things are much yeah. more accessible you can be doing but you're still interested in okay writing. I think like it is truly I going back to what I said at the beginning, forcing you to do the thing that we all know, which is go into nature and meditate and like sort of focus on something very acutely that's happening around you. Like mm-hmm. no meditation is like stare at a candle, stare at a wall. Mm-hmm. You're literally in the middle of the forest and then you're trying to find this like kind of complicated flying thing. And, and, and really like what always en- it ends with is like this intense moment of like stillness where you're staring at it. And it's like that moment is like, oh my God, that's like the drug every like, even us science podcast, psychology podcast is like, they always end by being like, you just got to have gratitude and go into nature and stare <laughs> yeah. at something like literally I like you know what i mean things. so it's like I just add, do a gratitude journal and then go birding and you're literally nature staring at something so, so it's like and it's active like you're up and about not that you're like yeah. running but you're walking you're yeah. moving it is like combining all these yeah. things that we're constantly told are like really positive and healthy so it's so that's like my main thing is it's that which is sort of like my first point was like nature bathing thing but the other thing that's cool is it's like what i now i'm like kind of think Almost like the way people talk about when they have kids where they're like the whole, your whole fa- fabric of like the way you look at the world changes and you're like, I'm never love something more. Like there's just like this, like people like, like they talk about that shift. Yeah. Like they're kind of like a mini, yeah, I'm not true. comparing. There's a mini, like I'm like ha- the, before I knew mm. what was going on above my head. Like right. I had no it's a very idea. Line for you. Like when I go true. into high park now, I'm like, so I took my friend Ami this past weekend and he, I, I saw him have the moment where he was like, holy shit, this is actually super cool. Cause he had no idea. I was yeah, like, you don't I was like, up. there's a Northern flicker. Like I've been wanting to see this thing for so long. <laughs> he watched me like freak out and run. And then when I like got the binoculars and saw it, it was crazy. It's like this weird bird that has like these, it, and I was, I was like, that just came from like Costa Rica. And he was just like, what? I was like, that arrived here today from costa rica like according like i'm not even kidding like just got off the well flight. it was either here like yesterday or tomorrow because like the way we are in spring right. i did not expect to see it it's definitely the first northern flicker at high park and i have been wanting to see it for so long and when i saw it and when he saw it it was like big it had this Whoa. crazy thing out the back of his head that was red and i was like if you saw that in costa rica you'd be like oh That's my god a, a cool bird. bird and now yeah. you're seeing it weirdly in like bland gray high park you could tell mm. he was like Holy shit. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, a bunch of woodpeckers just kept coming like right beside us. And you could tell he was like, is this normal? I'm like, yeah, you're in the birding part. Mm. And then all of a sudden he's like adjusting and seeing like crazy birds. And then I'm kind of like, let's go home. And he's not wanting to leave because he's realizing like, like, holy shit. Like, wait, if I stop and look now and then, and then sometimes I'm like, that is actually like not a daily woodpecker. Like that's a, yeah, we saw a red headed woodpecker. Oh, that's cool. Which I'd never seen. Oh, never mind. I thought you were going to say there's also a point where he might be like, when you're a beginner, every bird is also exciting. Not that they ever should not be, but the common ones, he would be like, oh my God, there's one. Or I would be like that. Sorry, that was like what the woodpecker, (laughs) that was like what my woodpecker story was. It was like woodpeckers beside us. And I was literally like, oh yeah, you didn't know? (laughs) Like, you know what I mean? I was just like, oh, Oh, you're you're excited you by that. You're excited by those. that downy. Oh, you're excited <laughs> oh by the three God, downies nearby. Greg. Girl, they're always around. Just gotta look. <laughs> and then I'm like, but in the distance, that's a redheaded. Now that's rare. But no, okay. So then the oh other thing God. I want to say is that me and my friend always make. There is truly birding culture, and it is sometimes like so <laughs> gor- glorious, and it's just like a wise white person, like in a really nice Gore-Tex with like a huge camera who's seventy, like passing on knowledge, and you're like, I'll take it. <laughs> But sometimes there's a bit of like, oh, did you see the first goldfinch? Like there's a little bit uh, of like that. Yeah, it That's can be not little, cool. But I us. guess like every field kind of can have that. Like yeah. there's always going to be the people who uh, grab into things and want to be the best <laughs> at it. But like the true birders are going to are gonna be the ones who just like can appreciate it actually for its beauty and don't care yeah. to like brag about what they Exactly. Think. And I do feel like most of the people we've met have been true birders who are just 
beautiful and glorious. But there's also a hilarious thing where I'm like, I don't know what happens like 70 years ago, but everyone's old. Like, it's like you're either. Wait, what? The way like, you just. No, I was that. like, was everyone birding when they were 30 in our age? And like, it's like this thing that doesn't happen anymore. I'm like, why is everyone 60 plus birding? <laughs> Because it's they like, start when they're sixty plus. I think so. Oh, okay, I think, sorry. I well, didn't know actually, if they were like raised to bird. No, you know what I mean? It could be a different a generational thing. You mean? You said it's it just a like, way. You're like just, what happened seventy years ago? <laughs> Everyone's old. I was like, that's <laughs> no, what I know. No, I was thinking years. about it backwards. I was like, why? <laughs> why are these? I don't know. I guess no, it's my, just like it's truly me right. and my friend, and everyone's sixty plus and very white. So I think it's well. I can't necessarily speak to the white part, but in terms of age, I think it is a low impact, like easy, yeah. stress-free thing that like, also if you're retired, it's probably like easier to just like be slow and take time appreciating things around you. We're like in a society and culture that as young people, it's just like, go, go, go. You're at work, you're at home, you're going out, you're doing all these things. I think when people age, not only are they more wise, but now they're also just like out of the rat race. Yeah, and interesting. can just slow down and appreciate wow, life. That's so crazy, the um, rat race. Also, and also the whiteness thing, I'm like, oh, that's just, literal white supremacy in the way systems are built like yeah. there's so many i've realized like even getting into birding like there's so many black birders who were like we weren't even fucking allowed in like parks that long ago like being even culturally right. like in a park as a black person like some like white person would call the cops on you and shit like there's like actual reasons why it's white like, systemic old and white yeah, yeah i mean yeah. like most things which is so fucking sad that's when you realize that humans are truly the worst because yeah, it's like, like obviously- you're taking nature and you're doing this dumb insane racist shit to then ruin fucking nature like like culturally for people anyways i'm just like white supremacy (laughs) okay hot take (laughs) white supremacy everyone is bad bad. (laughs) uh okay but okay so fully lost what i was no no we were just talking about the culture of it and saying that is really old and that some people can be annoying about it but for the most part they're not for the most part everyone's just happy to see a bird and a saying that i read in a book was Someone was like, what's your favorite bird? And they said, the one I'm looking at. Oh, right yeah. Now. You made me read that bird. I mean, <laughs> God, I am on a roll okay. today. <laughs> but you have to talk. Okay, that Birds book. are really on trees, which are books. That so. book was really great, though. And it and they also was interestingly had a whole what's plot line about again? birding. I forget. Oh, is that what you I you're feel bad, though, because it's it like it's really famous. Literally, go to Indigo right now. It'll be like and on the number one. Book. No, it's not a bird book. It's no, but it's like book. very much a pro birding because it was. It's like it's like astonishment or something. It's very like. Oh yeah, I feel bad. I, I think know. that is no. <laughs> we'll put we'll it in the show it, notes. Yeah. Put we it in the show notes. Do that, but okay. birding's a big part of that book. But yeah, I don't know, and I also want to talk about your experiences and the certain birds you're going to see right now. Is what because I, I think right now, if you're listening to this, is when you should start birding because it gets yeah. real good right now. Okay, I'll talk about my birding experience. Um, to be honest, like I, uh, it, it is interesting, like definitely have a little bit of that same line you do where it's like you expose me to it and now I am more likely to look up and be like, whoa, before I would walk around and literally not even see these or you're driving, you see it or you're whatever you see birds, but you don't process them. Mm-hmm. Right. And like, there was a time when last maybe spring you were like, listen to how loud it is outside. Like every bird is like, wah, 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 yeah. Wah, 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 wah. And you were like, it's not always like this. Like in a month, this won't yeah. be like, and I, that had never occurred to me before that obviously you don't, know, you picture spring and birds tweeting and that coming back, but it never occurred to me that once it happened, what, I just thought once it's warm, they're tweeting all summer. Yeah. Yeah. But you were like, no, this thing. is like when they're like mating, mating and yeah. having babies and like, yeah. I would just, but made me also, realize, oh, that's so weird. I never thought about it before. Also, what we both realized in that moment was when we were both like, how the hell did we walk down the street and not hear yeah. this? <laughs> like, yeah. it's like, you're literally, it's but so interesting. Do. No, but that's what I, my point about yeah. the plane of consciousness shifts. Yeah. You're all of a sudden walking down your street, which you've walked down every spring and you've thought it was quiet. Of course, there's birds chirping. You're not mm-hmm. like, it's quiet, but you have your headphones on, you take your headphones off. You're not thinking about it. If you, once you start to bird or even now, you might realize you're walking down your street in spring and it's like, fucking loud like if you took someone <laughs> from a quiet place to or that. maybe who hadn't heard birds before and put them there they'd be like what like, the hell is yeah. all of that screaming yeah. and like and screaming is sounds intense but like also like gorgeous <laughs> calls gorgeous calls um and then you start to hear it and then it's just like it, you're, you're just like mind blown about how many birds are around mm-hmm. you at all times in spring and then on top of it is really great because 
a big part of birding is hearing where the bird is and then seeing it. So outside of spring, it's really hard to bird because they're making less noise. So you kind of are just like ha have to stop and wait for like trees to move. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> when they are mating, it's also helpful for birding mm -hmm. because A, there's not so many leaves on the trees to block your view. And B, because they're mating, they're making noise and you can like get your binoculars or your bare eye to them if you're in a park because they're so, they come close and you can like see them, which maybe if they weren't making noise, you, it would be harder to find. That makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. that's why like spring, it's like people bird like, I see. hard. Like something that I was thinking about, I don't know why I keep saying things that are like kind of like, and this is why I don't like birding. So I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to like hear your perspective. Yeah, no, but like, right? I hope uh, but why are you thinking that? Do you actually think that? Or are you just like saying you're randomly just thinking about that? Yeah. I just have all these questions about like why you like certain parts of it, just out of interest of what it brings to you. Because I find that birds for me I do think they're beautiful and I do really like birding but they're less accessible to me as creatures than maybe because they feel further removed from humans like then what I don't know No, that, you're right I know what like you that's mean. what I'm saying when I'm like looking at a squirrel I I still think that about a bird because you have you're upset because you have a mammal connection maybe honestly <laughs> but or even trees. we I have a more common ancestor I guess, <laughs> I guess no but I feel that way about trees so like maybe it is just everyone has like the thing that they connect to more and for me like but, seeing a tree I feel like connected to earth and seeing a bird, I do, but not in, uh, like, not in the same way as mm -hmm. I think I actually, if I was to get into this space, you would do I the might lean to thing. plants first. And as a result, yeah, no, what? Remember birds. how you were like, I'm going to get into insects. And mm -hmm. then you never did. Maybe because it was the wrong one. You should have gotten into trees. <laughs> no, <clears throat> oh, oh. God, I just choked to death. Um, because then you could, that sounds like that's the I might try that. Like. Yeah. Insects no, I like are both. also far removed in the. And areas. I'm also like partially wanted to do insects because I'm afraid of them. And I thought it would maybe help me like learn to be less afraid. But maybe you were too afraid you didn't even start. Yeah, it's you know true. I, mean? I know, but I started too late in the season, I think, where it was like. No, you were talking about doing it. And I'm like, yeah, this is the right time because the summer is when insects are the big thing. Maybe, okay, I'm just trying to come up with an excuse for why I quit. Okay. I'm one of those people who does start and then just quits. No, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, it's probably because you were literally scared because it's scary because they're scary. True. Cho choose trees. Yeah. Okay. I'm that's choosing trees. Point. I'm choosing trees. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm like curious. Like when you look at a bird, do you no. feel that way? Sorry. Connect that way? <laughs> that's so rude. Like right. I think that that's no. That's I'm like so rude. no. Me saying oh. like no. I was like no. I don't connect fucking birds. Ew. Oh, I thought that's why you did it. No. Well, I'm like that's so what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say the activity. No. Like okay. So what I'm saying is like you're right. There is like a certain connection to. Honestly, it's a weird anth like probably anthropomorphization of animals that are cuter than birds like literally like pandas and like right there's yeah. like and even squirrels are like and even yeah they're i'm just saying like there are related. definitely cuter things than birds like birds my point is i'm not looking they're at like them dinosaurs and, yeah like they yeah so I'm, I'm i'm agreeing with you i'm like yeah. I'm, i don't i'm like if you think i'm going there and having this moment where i'm like that's the cutest thing i've ever seen like that doesn't happen all the time but you do start to notice that some are really freaking cute. Like, mm -hmm. like to the point where you're like, okay, like that bird is objectively ugly <laughs> and like cool that I saw it and that it's rare, but like, you what the fuck? But then there's like other things like swallows, which I right. actually think look like beluga whales. When you look at them in binoculars, they have similar, they're like, I'm literally giggling because they're so cute. Aww. So it's like, okay, there are the cute ones that give you that right. feeling that I do say, I do have those moments where I'm like, oh my God, I love you. And then some are truly scary and hideous. And hawks, I saw a hawk just like devour a squirrel the other day. So I was obviously like, um, that seems mean. <laughs> like, it's like, so it's not like you're always in love yeah, like you with chose them. carnivores. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're meat eating or, birds. I guess they're not carnivores, but they're omnivores, right? Some yeah. Of them. No, but some of them do. Yeah, exactly. My point. Some of them like do eat meat and mm -hmm. like insects and seeds. And okay. My point is that that isn't part of why I like birding. It's like right. they're. A, there are the cute ones, but it's like truly like so much more about the process, which I think is an important thing about all aspects of life. It's like if you want to be a just, creative, you have to enjoy the process. Yeah. You can't be like looking just for and wanting results. like this experience the of, oh, I want of yeah. a cute, like I want something from that animal, which is cute. It's like, no, it's actually the whole process um, I just that's like, better. Not defend myself, but no, like, no, I wasn't. I, I wasn't. I, I was agreeing. Didn't mean just cute though. I meant like like a, like sometimes when I touch a tree, I'm like this. Is it like a spiritual connection oh, sorry. to like nature that when you take me bird watching or I come and I do see the birds, I'm like, whoa, like it just makes me think about life and our consciousness, like what we were talking about earlier and how we relate to this planet. And it like brings me into that space where I want to like 
care more about the planet when I see like a bird or a yeah, tree. So and that's go. like spiritual. So I didn't yeah. just mean cute. And I was like, do you have that? So I, I was using it- that as a bad term for like um, probably like spiritual moments. Get, right? My point is that some birds are actually so <laughs> ugly and hideous that you just, it's harder to have a spiritual moment because mm, yeah, you're just like yeah. actually laughing at it. You're like, yeah. what the fuck? Okay. But yeah, of course I, I do have spiritual moments with the birds and with trees and with so many things in nature. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like I was thinking about how I'm like, oh, that's also church because <laughs> I walked by a church the other day and it was like Thursday and all these people were like running up the stairs right before Good Friday. Sorry, it was last night. And it was like this big church and I was like, that's so nice. Like, I just want to go in and watch mm-hmm. that. Like, it was like, it was like a Catholic pre Good Friday thing. And I was like, they're all like conglomerating to do what I do in High Park, hmm. like in their own way. It's like, yeah, yeah. and I was like, that's cool. I kind of wanted to go watch <clears> it and like be like, oh, they're all just coming here to slow down, to look at the world, to like assess their life, assess the world. Obviously, it's a Catholic church. I mean, like, so I'm like, you think that's, that's crazy. Oh like, my God, that's shit. Wait, was, it's, that the was, co- it's the comparison of like bird people who talk about birding and like are competitive about it versus people who actually do it for the right reasons. And I feel like the church is like that too. There's people who just go because it's like you want to be seen. You're like supposed to be at church. It's like what the right thing to or, do is. Yeah. But some people go to, they go to church to like actually have a really spiritual experience. Like, yeah. I think, that, 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 I think that like you're right. There's obviously. Uh, I also, grew up in the Catholic hot, system. I know yeah. a lot of people go to church. Hot take. They're not good people. Hot take here. <laughs> white supremacy is bad. Also, hot take here. Catholic church is bad. too. <laughs> we know it is. It is bad. And you're right. Some people do go to Catholic church and probably like are really having are a genuinely se- like also genuinely good, good people, people and, and doing like the right thing. Yeah. It probably brings them in. The institution. Them to like- not so good. <laughs> there. And definitely. The we instit- said it. <laughs> and I will come forth and say the institution of the Catholic church is definitely worse than bird watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's also true. Oh, wow. Hot but yeah. Take. But my point is that I do think also bird watching is a little bit like church for me. And that does, it makes me do those things. Yeah, that's cool. Wow. Okay, so here I just want to do some quick birds that people are going to have to keep their eye open for. Okay. Okay, so you're living in Toronto, you're living in New York, you're living in Detroit. You've got pigeons all the time. Those are actually called rock doves. <laughs> that is a fun thing to do while walking with your friends. Go, oh my God, it's a gorgeous rock dove. They're all going, where, where, where? And you're like, you can't see the beauty in that pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> and you show them the pigeon. And they go, that's a dove. And you go, that's a dove. Actually, you helped me to to look at pigeons and think they're beautiful. So know why I... The, just they're so common. They're that's so... Why people. And they have the really cool like iridescent feathers that like are blue yeah. and green. I'm like, and that's cool. And sometimes they're like spotted white and brown too. Yeah. Like they're all different shades. Also, of they're thriving in our mess. So good mm-hmm. on them. Like yeah. we're the mess that they're thriving on and mm-hmm. they're just lucky. <laughs> so they were actually brought here from Europe and they're doing super well because... Um, they'd like weren't really meant to be here because <laughs> what they, they they're like event, essentially like far. do they not fly that much i know they can fly but yeah no they're just great at their their stomachs can digest a lot of like our waste and things mm. like that and they're not like they're just way better fit to live in like our capitalist like climate change societies same with european starlings if you're in north america those are from europe as well hence the name <laughs> and they do so well and they're everywhere in your city and they have these really light white spots on them if you look at them closely but they're like where you see pigeons you'll probably see them they're like blackbirds Mm -hmm. so those are like the early ones usually like in the trees and stuff i mean yeah and you kind of don't notice them those are one of the first ones where i was like Mm -hmm. oh my god like from my book like european starling like when i went out my front door the first time (laughs) you know what i mean like when you don't have to go to a park yeah and they are like kind of cool when you look at them and then robins obviously you see everywhere with like the orange Mm -hmm. um, bottoms and then there's sort of sparrows everywhere that like intense birders can go like chipping sparrow house sparrow like song sparrow okay. but i can't do that and the most common one's called a house sparrow so i'm always just like if someone asks me i'm just like a house sparrow <laughs> but there are actually like so many different types right but they are also you'll see them if you're just walking down the street to like go to the convenience store you'll see mm-hmm. like oh yeah I see they're everywhere everywhere yeah. yeah so those are and just they're like, little and they're cute and they're super cute like if you stop and just even birded in the shrub down your street it is fun they're so cute like you start to look at them and you're like oh my god and you see their little heartbeats like, going kinda, so fast like, they just do little jumps yeah those ones are really cute <laughs> and they also if you watch them you're like they're just like actually living like kind of the way i'm living and they're just trying to eat but they just are able to like eat so much more of our garbage but they're like <laughs> really close to us in a shrub and they're cute yeah. oh my god they're so cute so it's that's like, like the basics and mm-hmm. that's and that's year round too so the thing that made me think about um the 
pigeons as rock doves is when a really cool thing that you'll find, and this is like all over America and Canada and in the winter, are morning doves, which is like M O U R N I N G, like because they're morning. Cause, <laughs> yeah, because they they their their calls are like, huh, like they're like sad. <laughs> is that actually like well, I don't know. That's like what we just like figured. <laughs> We're like, oh, no, no, no. they're like, <laughs> <laughs> it's sad if you tree. ever hear that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but they're like this bird that are like kind of like early bird and coveted because they could be anywhere like and they're year round so if you're in the winter and there's not much birds to see you can see them like in mm -hmm. like a pine tree in Toronto mm -hmm. and when you look at them in the rock you're like okay I waited so long it's a pigeon like it oh, just right. like it literally just looks like a pigeon with like it's two like extra a dots pigeon. it's like a it's a a honestly also, it's a clean, it's a clean like, pigeon yeah but even when I look at it I'm like that's ugly like it's like it's not <laughs> yeah, like you know gray. what I mean I'm like it's in a tree and you're like and you hear the call <laughs> and you see it and you're like wow pigeons are doves because you aren't that different right. morning dove yeah but they're really cool because when they fly their wings flapping sounds like almost like a duck call like it goes like so people are like oh what that's when you most notice them is when they're flying people are like oh look at that bird that sounds so cool but it's actually the physics of the wind of their wings and they're actually silent from their mouth yeah and it's cool you start to see i didn't it. believe it at first yeah it's you, it, you're convinced the noise is either another bird making tweeting sounds yeah or that bird tweeting while it's flying but then yeah. you're like it's crazy that it's the wings flapping that's making this sounds so yeah. cool so if you're in toronto in the winter walking around it's like a cold day but it's quiet and all of a sudden because they're that's where there will be a lot of morning doves around you hear like like out of nowhere in the winter when it's quiet yeah exactly that was it do that again that was like literally that's so good <laughs> i can do a loon call too by the way do it do it do it okay wait I, I, I no no do it's that. really hard to not laugh okay okay but it was so good <laughs> that i'm that is exactly it. That is crazy. Like, are you a beatboxer? How many times have you heard that? I was just, I don't know. What that do was mean? exactly what they said. That was really cool. Let me try. Like, it was like, <laughs> again, too. Wow. Okay, I can do a blue jay. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't it do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes they, they have lots of noises, though. And they're also year I round. love blue jays. Blue Jays but in the winter. that's just my bias towards like, I love a colorful, bright bird. Sorry. No, you're allowed to love that. Blue Jays are freaking cool. They're really, they're yeah. so cool. And blue being like a very, did you know? Unique. They're not blue. Color and name. It's a they're like, gray. If you take their feathers and put them up uh, to light in a way, they're brown. Brown. I think. I just saw a TikTok on this. Okay, don't don't quote me. <laughs> well, we just, like, the There's burning someone, episode's someone, been taken over. Someone had feathers. No, that makes total sense. It. It blue really is cool. so. It's not. like the way the light hits it. So, and they're also, another thing, like, because they're here all winter, like, seeing a blue jay against vibrant snow, you're like, whoa, yeah. that is intense. Like, and cardinals, blue jays and cardinals, yeah, the great. red and blue, and, they, and it's, like, vibrant. Yeah, and they are still fun to see. Like, I feel bad. Like, sometimes we'll be birding. We'll be like, oh, yeah, just a cardinal. But I'm like, no, we, love them. we're always so, like, cardinals are such an easy, exciting thing, because it's, like, this red thing, again, year-round, red on snow, like, yeah. red, it's, like, it's cool. You're just like, whoa, what is Absolutely that? Absolutely gorgeous. And you know what has made me appreciate the robin recently, which I'm always is like a common one that you learn really young to distinguish, yeah. right? Because I didn't know yeah, any yeah. other birds, but like I knew a robin. Yeah. Many a children's book's got yeah. a robin in it. Um, and then so I think they've become a little bit like pigeons to me and that you're like, oh, I see oh. it everywhere. No, but then recently I realized they have so many unique calls. I was like listening to a thing about the robin's calls and it's like, Half the sounds you hear are like these robins doing different calls. Cool. So, See, I know. Just like, whoa, that's a robin's info. noise. Oh, that's a robin noise. That's a robin noise. Like it's cool when you realize how like diverse one bird sounds yeah. can be. Also, robins are so cool because they like they're also orange is amazing. It is, but Especially sometimes I feel like it's spring. not as it, it can be really vibrant. But when I think of like a blue jay and a cardinal, they're like yeah. they're like iridescent. Like and robins. Are, Iridescent, yeah, yeah. It means like to glow or something. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay. Also, robins are a sign of spring. That's why, because they mm. they are actually like the leaving in the are... winter, whereas cardinals and blue jays <laughs> oh, are. Right. So they don't represent anything of time passing. I see. Whereas that's why robins, robins are. It's a do. sign, and they're yeah. early birds that come back, and oh, so they, they survive. They represent well. the changing of the seasons. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that's why they go so often in stories because they're like, yeah, metaphors. I think so. And my yeah, like because a blue jay never leaves, and neither does a cardinal. Mm. 
and they're all vibrant colors. Oh, no, something else that I never knew before I thought about birding. Like, I always knew about birds migrating. So it's like, you know, the geese are going down to Florida or like whatever birds leave here that you don't see in the winter. But until you started birding, it never occurred to me that other birds north of us yeah. migrate just The dark eye chunko. And I'm yeah. like, that's so cool. I only ever pictured like all the birds, like as a kid, you're just like, oh yeah, the birds leave Canada yeah. in winter. But it's like, no, the ones that are used to the even more cold just come down that here. That was one of our first, that was like one of the first cool birding moments we had together. I remember that because you were there when like, I, I was like, this bird's like, only oh, here in, in the, the winter. winter. Yeah. And then it goes north. Yeah. Like but it never also, occurred to me. <laughs> and so it's like, those are similar literally like, cause Robert's Robins and dark eyed juncos are the types of birds that survive well with humans that you will see mm. truly on your streets that do represent time passing and i haven't seen a dark eyed junko in a while yeah is that truly it's gone it's up north yeah but they yeah technically. i just I, I haven't no i i still see the house sparrows all the time but You're in right. the winter yeah, i remember always being north. like oh dark eyed junko dark eyed junko and now i and is it junko we gotta learn how to say that oh one. i say everything wrong sorry but it's j-u-n-k-c-o <laughs> j-u-n-c-o yeah dark eyed junko i think i heard That's it right. once as junko um but i've only realized recently like in, you put the bird feeder stuff out and i haven't seen any of them yet yeah they're probably so gone they they're, went back up north because it's like actually they would want it to be more cold, cold based on what they eat it's so cool yeah i didn't and that was a bird feeder thing in the winter just being like what's that bird using my binoculars using a book and then being like oh my god it just migrated here in December. Like, mm. that's so cool. I'd, I'd never thought of that before either. It's not like I knew that. Um, two other things I just thought of amazing about birds. Why can they just sit in the snow? Like, they just, like, they're not, like, I know not, it's just the ones that when you're like, it's cold outside and you're just sitting outside. I know, and they I think seem about so a lot small. Of animals, but, I know. And then remember, in university, we learned about, like, how birds tr um, transfer heat, like, why they can walk on really cold surfaces. Yeah, they transfer their heat in their legs, not like in the feet. Like, they stop the circulation, yeah. yeah. So it's like, the feet can be cold and then the circulation just turns around earlier. Yeah. Was that it? Yes, exactly. But the it's blood so cool. still goes, but they transfer the heat her further yeah. up. Yeah, no, it's really smart. Birds are like they've they're so better cool. adapted to this world than we are. They they truly have been along, around longer as a species. Hence they can fly without burning fossil fuels. We on the other hand need to fly if we want to go to Mexico, we're going to have to take the freaking planet with us. Also another crazy birding moment when we saw great blue herons in Panama. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that was a crazy moment for me too. Great blue herons, these like iconic birds that are around in the summer that even pre-birding I was like a oh, great blue heron yeah, cuz like, they're huge. They're huge and they're common and they enough. And also yeah, they just stand out the way they swoop low enough over like they're a lake. Amazing or... birds. So like even before birding I feel like we'd always be like, oh, remember yeah. Sharon the heron? We yeah, totally. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we go to Panama. Again, flying, burning fossil fuels, left, right, and center. It's like looking out the window, like, oh, the beautiful earth's beautiful. Just like like pillaging it with like <laughs> burning of coal. Get there. And then we're like, oh, I don't know. Maybe you're in another country. Like, let's look at birds. Like, we were kind of on like a hike. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, that bird. Oh, it looks so much like a great blue heron. And they were like, that is a great blue heron. I was like, what? <laughs> And it was like in the winter and they're like, yeah. And I like look it up. It's like great blue herons migrate from <laughs> the lakes of Toronto, like to Panama. I'm like, that thing flew here That is so on wild. the fish and the things it is trying to live off of. And I came here on this goddamn plane mm -hmm. and I'm questioning why it's here. I'm like, what's that bird? It's like, no, this yeah. is where I actually meant to live. <laughs> That was really cool. I was like, oh my God, that is a great blue heron. That's crazy. And it could be the one that we see in the summer. Yeah. To fly is just an amazing thing. It's so amazing. That's why I guess humans are, maybe that's another draw to birds because flying people just like crave the ability to just like fly on your own. Yeah. You know I and mean? like, and people have dreams about flying and like they're often, if you could be granted like one magical power, people will pick to fly. Know what it happened recently about birding that I like kind of was like, I'd never thought of that before. It was said in like a funny, cheesy way that I like was like, what? And then when I realized, oh my God, that person was true, was right. right. Was like, I always assume if a bird is flying that it is like attempting to eat food. It's looking for food. It's like scanning. It's a mm. hawk. Really cool hawks in Toronto. Keep your eyes out. <laughs> like a hawk looking for a mouse. And then we were like in Colombia and we were on this boat with this girl who was just like funny, like just an American. So they chat a lot. Sometimes, you know, they don't ask you anything, but they just chat, chat, chat. And I was just kind of like, Hey, this person, she's talking, she's talking. And there were like these birds near us flying. Yeah. And it was like, I was just looking at them. I was like, so nice. And I kind of just was like, Oh, I wonder if they're doing that like for fun. And she just like looked at me. She's like, well, I'm a birder. And I can, uh, I can, one thing I've learned is like, <laughs> for sure. Those birds, uh, 
they're mostly flying for fun. <laughs> and it was just like, I was like, okay, whoa. Like, first of all, like, you gave I'm, her such a different voice than but she it was had. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was like, well, oh, I can't even do it. What's Arkansas accent? It's like, well, I'm a birder there, too. <laughs> but like, lives in Mexico. Anyways. Um, and I kind of wanted to be like, oh, I'm actually a birder, too. <laughs> but I didn't. So I just let her have it. And I was kind of like, well, she was a weird person. And then since then, I've been like, they're like flying for fun. Totally. Like, I'm like, I did, like, of course they are. They can freaking fly. Like, yeah. I always was just like, oh no, it's like always, always for work. Yeah. It's, it's like, no, they're, they're like, that <laughs> stupid thing's walking and looking at me with binoculars. See ya. I'm going to go freaking yeah. enjoy this wind. It's going to take no energy for me because I'm going to glide, honey. Like, and I'm fine. Remember You're wrong. In, um, like when we were just in Colombia, we would see the pelicans oh, go yeah. down on the waves and basically surf the that waves without touching so them. And then as cool. the wave was about to break, they would come out of it. And it's like, of course that was for fun. Imagine <laughs> that was the option. Like I was there like waiting. I was like, what excursion could we do? Imagine the option was like going so freaking fast down a wave and like with your buddies perfectly yeah. going over it. Fra That's a video game. Like that is the best well, I can't even fathom that feeling. Well, that's why people surf. You could. True. You could fathom it surfing. True. True. <laughs> true. 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 Wow. 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 Now you got to start surfing. But I still need like a board made out of oil. I still need a polyester Yeah, there's a lot. Board. There's a lot you know to get I mean? there. Yeah. That one's just born surfing with everything. Surfing really scares me too. Yeah. I was I'm really afraid of sharks. truly almost died surfing when I first learned. <laughs> like I saw the person teaching space and they looked at me and they were like, running like oh my god you're kidding, like that and i was like i'm fine and then they were like they're like that could have been so bad you need to get out oh my god because i had like like <laughs> you know how like the board is like connected to your ankle with this yeah. thing i like they were like you we were in ecuador and they were like you have to hold on to this board at all times because if you let go of this board and, and there's what, a string let from and let it dangle with these oh, waves like so i was you. just like okay fine but then i was like holding it i'm like oh this is kind of awkward like maybe right before i hop on i'll just let go of it for one second before i hop uh, on like who cares like they're <laughs> they're exaggerating so i like i like let go of it i go to hop on like fall off and then all of a sudden it's dangling and this wave it's just comes like, it goes up the wave i like watch it go in front of me and then i watch it come Ooh. at me with so oh, the like blades the, end, end. the blades are to the right Oh, and it comes oh. and it hits me in my chest <laughs> like and it wins me and I'm like and then I like go under I'm like <laughs> and then I come up and the, the person's like running at me like <laughs> and then I was like oh my god and they were like you can't let go you need to go in shot and I was just like holy shit I did not know it was gonna get that real that fast whoa yeah. so maybe like <laughs> it doesn't happen to everyone wow, or not wow. but it was like a board like <laughs> and the blades at one point I was like yeah You're those blades experience. were on my face like that would be Bad. Wow. Like, yeah. You get away with murder <laughs> no, all uh, the time. Uh, no, like, so that I would have died if that happened to me. <laughs> it definitely would have like hit me in the face and I lost my vision. It was intense enough that you also probably would have been like like I think I was I was like I was like, I'm, I'm <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> Could have actually like feel like you would have been like uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the really way that you tell this story laughing, like if I had this story in my life, I'd have been yeah. like, and that's You would have been like, the there was a time I got I... a full concussion <laughs> from <laughs> almost died. A <laughs> near death experience. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, there's all different types of birds. <laughs> everyone just needs to go out there and look at them. We went over some of the simple ones, but then you're going to get into really complicated, like warblers is a thing that I'm sorry, I'm no, like, I just don't know. I don't oh, know. There's so many, there's right? There's so many. And they come in spring and summer and they're beautiful. They're all these different colors. They come from, you know, just picture Costa Rica, like these intense mm -hmm. birds. So they're around in summer. So if you can find them, which I've actually just had a hard time finding any of them, they're really complicated and cool. And they like, they just like look really cool. But there's so many different species and it's just like they all look the same physically. The only thing that's varying is color. Mm -hmm. And so there's like, I don't know, like 20 to like 30 different ones that come in the summer. And so I can't even a seem to find them, let yeah. alone when I like find I one. I'm like, I can't, I'm like, which one? like, I can't ever oh, know. That's exciting that yeah. you have so much. So some, to learn. some people would know the mm. warblers. And then there's calls. I have an app. That listens That's and what, tells I, you. For some reason, I'm more interested in trying. Not more interested, but I am like, oh, I really want to figure out the calls because sometimes you don't can't see anything, but you can hear it. That's also great if you're doing like the citizen science things that like I do when I go to High Park. You just count the birds, and at the end of your hike, you just put it in. And then Cornell like has a better track of how many birds are there. You can people can track birds by calls. So then, like I go in and I have to see them, verify it's the bird. 
and then be like, I saw one northern flicker. Mm. I saw one, I saw two hermit thrushes. But some birders can go in and be like, I know that bird's here because I can hear it. And right. then they'll track it. Right. So it's like, like, you're actually just tracking whether or not it's there. It's yeah. not about whether you saw it. It's like just yeah. to let people know that bird is here. Which is cool because it's like, I'm actually missing out on knowing so many birds mm. are around me because if you do know the calls, you can know they're there, even though it might be really hard to see them because they're so loud. Maybe it's because I'm a singer that I'm more interested in. Well, calls. it's and it's also <laughs> cool. It's also <laughs> like, I think for me, it obviously it feels harder. I feel like that it's a fun puzzle for me. Like, and I haven't spent any time, but like, I feel like that could be fun just yeah. to be like, oh, it's like, it's actually like taking a piano test where you have to like know your intervals and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Or you're just like, oh, you're, it's like, okay, to be able to hear something and identify it, that's cool. It's really cool that people can do that. And a fun little trickster about that that just arrived here end of April, saw my first one biking home today, a mockingbird. And it literally oh, just whoa. makes all the sounds of all the that's other birds cool. around it. Yeah, also, They're super cool. And they're ones that are okay around you. Get your binoculars. You'll see them, but you wouldn't you don't know you've seen one. If we you didn't are even talk about the fact that birds can talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what's so funny? You weirdly were at the beginning. We're just like, so why birds? So why does one bird? And then, then ever since I was like, whatever, you've just like been freaking out about why birds are the no. coolest thing ever. I'm like, well, let's go. That's why I was let's trying. Let's go. To, let's go. I was trying to say at the beginning, I'm none of this is coming out of like trying to be. No, but it's funny because now you're just like bringing up everything. Yeah, I was trying like, to yeah. learn why. Yeah. And now no, I've but learned. now it's like, you know why? Because um, they're talking. What and I, they're trying to bang each other right now, which is really fun because they fly in these crazy ways and go like. I don't know how I feel about. Maybe we won't talk about this. People like having birds in cages. Oh, uh, okay. Hot take: white supremacy is bad, and having birds in cages is bad. I know, but obviously, like people could say having a dog and it, like you're basically like. Caging yeah, I think having a dog is also super turtles. weird. Okay, as long as we're saying that, I just <laughs> yeah. I know there'll be people who probably have no. birds and love their birds and take yeah, care sorry. of birds. Uh, and, yeah, like, yeah, it can be hurtful yes. to be told like you shouldn't do that. Okay, fair. But, you're right. You're you right. Know? But like, I'm just saying. Okay, then like, oh my god, yeah, duh. <laughs> And also, like, dogs are, like, pets are weird. Like, we know that. <laughs> okay. But so cool that birds can talk. And that's how I know that, because birds live with humans in their homes. Oh, you mean, that's like, what made me think of it. Stuff? Yeah. Like, can how, speak like, they, English. Sorry, I know they, like, can't talk, but they can I was like, they learn. talk, no, but they talk to each other. But you mean speak English? Literally. Oh, okay. I thought you I meant, meant like, I thought you hey, meant, what's up, dog? oh, my God, Mitch. <laughs> I thought you meant humans, uh, sorry, birds can talk. I'm like, yeah, they're talking to each other. But you mean, like, no. birds can speak, speak English yeah, no, or, like, any crazy. language that they're yeah. taught. and like communicate and say things back to yeah. humans and repeat things like that's so cool and you probably wouldn't know it from being out in nature but because people own birds and have yeah. them in their home you realize yeah. whoa these birds are literally repeating radio that, sounds that's what i was gonna say it is repeating that's what they're doing so yeah they're not actually communicating like they're not talking but some have been trained to like communicate in a way that you tr train a dog a trick like, yeah yeah give for it your sure, paw for you sure. ask a question it responds yeah, you know yeah. like they're right. crazy intelligent creatures that even though they're repeating they're probably learning to associate oh yeah oh if this is about a treat oh, oh, give yeah. me the treat give me they're the treat definitely <laughs> smart you know what i mean i'm like they've as i said been evolving on yeah. this planet longer than it's us. so cool of course that they, they can do that and learn to speak um, english i was gonna ask one final question unless i'm no i'm good talking. okay i'm like literally just like follow me on instagram slash i'm gonna start doing like like meetups in the park where we all go birding you might have to take mushrooms okay i'm kidding <laughs> okay last I'm question kidding. i poison you people. can either answer the first one you might not want to answer you probably know what i'm gonna ask but it can be current what? turned into a different what? question what is your favorite bird which I know you might oh. be like, no bird's my favorite, but that's why. No, okay, that's good. That's a good one. Um, I do think it is funny, and we do giggle, giggle, and say, of course, the birds are looking at. But it's uh, not true. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, he literally just slapped my arm. No, he was, I was like, like no. so then, oh, I thought you were going to just say that. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, pick a bird quick. I'm I saying, have to pee so bad. That's oh, why I'm trying to wrap this Oh, my God, I am having a hard time. And if you want a quick answer, now that is hard. I have so then I can give you okay. the second half of okay. the question, which is, what bird are you most, oops, sorry, what bird are you most excited to see that you haven't seen yet. okay so it was a northern flicker and then i saw it so that's interesting because i've had that on my mind for a long time and it would have been my that's answer cool. two weeks ago it's right. been two years and I, and I just cannot believe i saw it like i just like it was walking right in to show my friend birding for the first time i'm like haha there's one and i'm like oh it's kind of big too <laughs> i look at it i'm like that's a northern flicker and he just like watches me do like something that he could only be like you're lying like why are you freaking out yeah so it was that was one i really wanted to see and it was really cool okay. it's really really hard to choose 
Um, I do feel like I'm just going to say right now, it's like when the like cliff and barn swallows come in spring to Toronto, I'd say it's them because they do look like belugas and they fly really cool. And I just was in New Mexico where they were there and I was like, you're coming home soon, people like they're they're a sign of spring and they're real. They're almost a sign of late spring where it's like it actually is pretty out. There's flowers Mm -hmm. and they're like back and they i love them and i saw them for the first time last year like when we went to the spit with my parents Mm -hmm. like seeing them fly in those little homes it was like that was so like magical yeah that i was like so cute i want that moment again which will be coming soon so so swallows okay ask me the question okay um (laughs) what's your favorite bird oh no which one am i excited to see oh oh sorry which one are you excited i don't have a favorite because i don't think about it that much but something i realized that you know how you said there's the before and after birder? So it's like before birder, I saw these words and didn't really take them into notice. But I know this is a really basic answer. But since learning more about birding, I actually want to see a flamingo. Like I know we're not going to see it here, but I'm oh like, I'm just God. like, they're yeah. really cool, weird that's birds that I've, I everyone notices, even when they're not birders, because birders, you're like, that's a very like flamboyant, not flamboyant, like flaming color. What do you say? I'm not trying to wow, say gay he's things. Really, I'm having a hard time saying this aren't <laughs> like gay. I'm actually gonna sit back and watch you do this one. I'm... Faggot, a big faggot. <laughs> oh, big uh, limp wristed <laughs> bo- no. bottom boy. I meant to say f- fluorescent pink is what I was the word I was trying to find. That's what I was like saying. Well, Everest. that's interesting because when you were saying which one you're most looking forward to, I was obviously like thinking birds you could here. see here. No, I just but meant... that's but that's interesting. I don't think that much about birds outside because there's. Birds so many yeah. like it and the w- best way to learn anything is through experience like experiential learning like even as a teacher that's all they want you is like take them on field trips mm-hmm. so it's really hard to learn about, about birds that you can't like, like experience actually, and see yeah. and stuff but that's so, why i mean i would it'd be so fun to go back somewhere where there are flamingos yeah no my point my, literally my like, point is that i haven't even thought of that but i'm thinking about that now and i'm like that's fucking crazy i want to see a flamingo so bad yeah but it's like it's not part of any of the knowledge i'm picking up because everything's always focusing on what you can't see but i'm like yeah i want to see a flamingo yeah and there's probably so many birds you know what? that i want to see that i don't even know about yeah. and like when Southeast I was Asia. In, in Australia and went to like a marsh, we saw like so many cranes and they were huge. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't appreciate I appreciated yeah. it enough. But now I'm yeah, like, I want to look at that with like, different Whoa. eyes. Yeah, I know. Also, ostrich. Yeah. Like, frick, I want to see an that's ostrich. That's a bird. I know. How crazy. Yeah, it literally sounds like you're Kiwi? It sounds like you're truly a bird fan. Oh my god, and, like, you know I, which like, one? You're... Osprey? No, what's it called? Wait, you're the- literally free. I'm so down. I'm like, this worked. I'm like, he's a birder. I'm a birder. I was, like, you're I was I'm like, what are you even saying? Osprey? What's, no, what's Those the are cool. Win- they uh, make the nests. What's the one that looks like a literal dinosaur in Australia? Can you... Vamp. I'm going to look it up. Um, oh, what do you mean? Oh, like Vamp savings? means like just... Oh, okay. I'll tell you other really <laughs> cool birds. Like Hermit thrushes. Bird. Okay, no. Grackles are like blackbirds that come back. Cassowary. Thank okay. you. <laughs> Got it. That you know those. Yeah, yeah, those are crazy dinosaurs. But also, I wanted to tell people. I'm realizing in spring, red winged blackbirds are another really obvious one because they're blackbirds with red wings. Oh, and yeah. they make this really loud noise right now that you can literally I, every time you open the door, it's like, <laughs> like and so they're fun because they also represent spring and they really um, red on their wings. But grackles, as I just said, are like blackbirds with blue kind of heads mm. when you look at them in the right kind of like shimmers. Yeah. We don't have crazy Australia Ooh. stuff, but there are vultures. Yeah. Love I, them you're too. right. You should appreciate the beautifulness, beauty in simple things as well. But it's exciting to see also maybe because we're not in a place that has yeah, these kind of birds. Sure. It's like so outs- outstanding. So um, go out, go yeah, out on your hikes, bird. look Hope for birds and do like that. do lots of um, free looks around your parks and buildings at first and then the next thing truly is to just buy binoculars but you can buy used ones because what it does is it makes you able to sort of actually know what you're seeing Mm -hmm. for like a lot of the opportunities you're gonna have but there still is a way that you can literally bird without listen like taking your earplugs out right now on your walk home in toronto and start to learn it's like very easy and then there's really cool apps you can download and it's honestly like such a high recommend for me. It's like the only thing I would recommend that anyone do. <laughs> Every other it's other amazing. thing I do, I'd be like, don't do it. It's crazy. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can like wholeheartedly be like, this is a good <laughs> like thing. Like there's nothing bad goodness in that's going to happen. Yeah. yeah, it's like only good things are going to happen. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah. I think that inspired me. Hopefully it inspired other people to look more at the birds. It ends with an ad by being like, and this was sponsored by Big Bird. <laughs> oh my god, oh, Big the Bird. Bird. Me. Oh my god, I love Big Bird. I want to see him. And Word Bird from Fred Penner. Birds classic even in our media <laughs> thank you so much make um, sure you like subscribe i absolutely have to pee so bad so me I'm too gonna, yeah okay want to go cross what is it called cross swords let's go bro cross swords yeah something like that <laughs> okay let's go cross swords Peace. all right bye <laughs>